Assalamu alaikum, my dear students, how are you? I am hopeful that all of you will be fine. Dear students, today we are going to discuss the most important subject that is known as foundation of education. But before going to discuss the major foundations of education, we will try to explain that what is meant by foundation. Foundation in common words, it means the strong baseline which is provided to buildings or other things to ensure its sustainability and its strength. So, the question is what is meant by foundation of education? Foundation of education refer to those aspects of individual and collective life which are taken into account while constructing the system of education for a nation. Foundation of education means those principles, those rules, those aims or goals which are taken into deep concentration before the process of framing or designing an education system for a country. It is focused on the aspects of individual. For aspects of individual means that individual development is also the focus of education and group development is also the focus of education. In short, that these are those principles which are designed by the experts of education or educationists or curriculum designer to ensure the design objectives related with education means that these foundations are based on all the important panoramas and prospects and parameters which starts with ideology and which ends with the society. So, foundation of education in simple words are those major principles which are taken into deep consideration for the development and for the establishment of education system of a state. Question number two. What are the major foundations of education? Now this is the basic question. That what are those foundations which are always taken as vital for designing an education system for a country? So the answer is major foundations of education are ideological, social, philosophical, psychological, historical, economical foundations. If we study these are known as the eyes and shoulders of every state. And education is always there for the development of the state. So the first foundation deals with ideology. Ideology is derived, ideology is derived from the Greek words which means ideas. So every country has its own ideology, the ideology of Pakistan is Islamic in nature. Then there is social, human beings are social animals, they live together, they share together and they exchange together. So the basic foundation which is needed for education is social foundation in which such items, such ideas or such contents are included in the education system which produce social citizens. Social citizens are those which live together, work together for the development of the country. Then philosophical, philosophy as you know it is also derived from the Greek word which means pelo, pelo means love and sophia means uh, wisdom. So philosophy deals with the major universal ideas or questions 
which should be tried by the education to answer in according to the ideology of the state. Then there is psychologically, you know that education is there for the living being, that every living being is always having a psychology. Psychology means the scientific study of human behavior, that how the learner should behave and how the teacher should behave. Then historical foundation, what is the history of the state, economical, what is the state of the economic, and what method should be applied for the development of the economy of the state. Question number three, what is psychology in its major types? So you can see that the word psychology is derived from Greek words psyche, psyche means soul and logos means science. So the science of soul is called psychology. But dear students, I would like to clear your concept here that soul is abstract by nature. We cannot touch soul because it has no physical body. So later on this definition, the science of soul was changed into the science of mind. So again, mind does not exist. It is abstract in nature. So this definition was also changed and then it was changed into consciousness. Consciousness means that when you are in full consciousness, you perform something. But human mind, according to Sigmund Freud and Carl Jung, is consisted of consciousness, subconsciousness, and unconsciousness. So, if psychology is only the study of consciousness, then what to say about subconsciousness and unconsciousness? So, this definition was also discarded. And at the end, William Watson came up with the most appropriate definition of psychology that is the scientific study of human behavior is called psychology. Human beings behave in light of their thinking, in light of their ideas which are framed in the mind. So, for example, I am writing in front of you on the board and I am explaining the things. So, all these are reflecting my behavior, how I am dealing with my students, how I am communicating with my students, what type of methodology I am applying for teaching. So this is our psychology. And always remember that psychology is the force which differentiates men from animals. There are different types. The first one is child psychology. If we are dealing with the foundation of education. So, education is the process of sharing the knowledge and experiences with the learner. And the learner is always a child. So, we have to be a teacher. We should try to learn about the child psychology because child psychology teaches us the needs, the demands and the requirements for productive teaching to the young learner. Then there is cognitive, as according to S.B. Bloom, there are three domains, cognitive domain, affective domain, psychomotor domain. So cognitive domain is related with mind. So the psychology which deals with mind is called cognitive psychology and it deals with the problems with the learner. That some of the learners are learning very quick. Some are learning with slow speed. Why this variation and difference is there? To measure about that differences, we have to go for cognitive psychology, forensic psychology. Forensic psychology means it is a scientific psychology which deals with the causes of committing the crimes by the people. It is the psychology, it is also known as a crime psychology. It studies the minds of the people, that why people are committing crimes, what are the factors behind committing those crimes. You know that in this uh, world, most of the celebrities, most of the popular people, they are committing the crimes. 
So this psychology or this branch of psychology, forensic psychology, deals with the issues of crime and then social psychology. Social psychology is that psychology which teaches you how to live in the society, how to work in the society, and how to work for the development of the society. Question number four, state the ideology of Pakistan. Students, you know that Pakistan is in ideological state. This is a country. اس کے پیچھے ایک نظریہ کا فرماتا اور وہ نظریہ that is in nature اسلامی but ideology the origin of the word ideology is it is Greek by nature ideo which means idea logos which means science so the science of idea is called ideology the ideology of Pakistan is Islamic in nature Islamic in nature means that sovereignty rests with Almighty Allah. Allah is the master. Allah is the creator. Nothing can take place without the permission of Allah. Based on Tawheed, a prophet. Tawheed means oneness of Allah. Then a, a Surah Ikhlas, that there is one Allah. So a prophet. Remember, it doesn't only deal with Tawheed. It also deals with prophethood. A person who has the belief in Allah but has no belief in the prophethood, that person cannot enter into the fold of Islam. It ensures equality, justice, 